You know, people always claim that uh, bigger tires consume more energy and makes more noise. So I did a test uh, with uh, Mega Yule. They have a bunch of wheels there. So uh, I was able to test five different tires to measure noise and consumption. So the test car I used was a Tesla Model S 90D facelift. And uh, this was on a dry tarmac at uh, uh, what well, to to see the the like the difference better I drove at 70 kilometers per hour 43 miles per hour which will simulate like um, you know urban driving a mix of city driving and some highway but of course this is not motorway test uh, and the temperature during that th those days I tested was around uh, 25 degrees Celsius uh, and uh, for the consumption test I used range mode on and I switch off uh, <laughs> climate control uh, so the reason for that is that I don't want the battery heater or anything to interfere or also the, the climate to interfere with um, with the test and I was getting really consistent results. Uh, the first set of tires I tested was a 21 inch Michelin Pilot Sport 2 uh, and this comes in a staggered variant so um, it's 245-35 uh, in the front and then 265-35 in the back and uh, the rims here was the PH Turbine 2 wheel uh, rims. And the next one is a 21 inch Achilles ATR Sport 2. Now this is a, a, a cheaper Chinese uh, tire. And this, this is also in the staggered version, you know, 245 in front and then 275 in the back. And this was also with the PH Turbine 2. So they look similar to you know, Tesla's uh, turbine wheels, but they are cheaper. And the third one is the 19 inch Michelin, Michelin Primacy 3. This is very common on Model S. Uh, so it's also the very common uh, measurement of uh, 245, 45, uh, 19. And this one has the Tesla slip, Slipstream, which is the original uh, Tesla um, rim. And on Tesla, they claim that the Slipstream rims will give you like 2% higher efficiency. Uh, so yeah. All right, uh, the fourth one is 19 inch road claw RH660 uh, standard measurement and also with Tesla slipstream. And the fifth uh, set was a 19 inch Nereus NS601, uh, also standard me measurement and a pH turbine 2. So, you know, it's either the pH turbine 2 or the Tesla slipstream uh, rims. And if we compare the 21, you know, if we compare, you know, the, the popular. Um, like I would, I would call it like you know, the standard tires that you get in the Tesla, you know, which is the, the Michelin 21 inch versus the Michelin 19 inch. And um, as expected, 21 inch is much noisier than 19 inch. So um, it seems to be about uh, two and a half decibel uh, difference here. And that is pretty huge. A three decibel uh, difference is uh, a doubling in the energy uh, on the intensity. So um, it doesn't sound much, you know, uh, 62 versus 64.6, but it, it is uh, audible, we're real audible. Uh, but uh, okay, so how much is this compared to the other tires? Well, if you uh, add in the Achilles 21 inch, you see that the Achilles uh, tires are actually quite uh, more, like, much more quiet than uh, the, the Michelin 21 inch. Like, it's a huge difference, you know. It's actually closer to the 19 inch. So uh, when I used the, the Achilles, I was like, wow, this is so quiet compared to the Michelin. The Michelin tires are so noisy. Uh, and then if we add Road Claw, you see that Road Claw is, is no, has higher noise than, uh, than the Achilles. So um, not as quiet, but um, and also you see um, uh, Michelin is still the, the most quiet one. And then the last one is uh, Nereus 19 inch. So this was a bit uh, surprising because uh, uh, the Nereus uh, winter tires, the studless winter tire was, was very quiet, but the summer tires <laughs> turn out to be very noisy. You see, uh, almost as noisy as the 21 inch. Now, um, in this test, there was some traffic and every time a car passed me, there would be this spike and some of these might be those spikes, but you see still, you know, um, even when we don't have the spikes, you know, the, the Nereus or, or, or you look at the other graphs, you know, um, they kind of represent like the baseline, you know. Um, so this will give you somewhat good indication of how noisy these tires are. And then uh, here you can see a table. Um, 
uh, I try to sort them by how much noise they have. And uh, the most, uh, the noisiest one was the 21 inch Michelin. Um, and then the second one <laughs> was Nereus, pretty noisy for a 19 inch. And then you had the Roll Claw and then Achilles and then the most quiet one was Michelin. But you see something that, um, <laughs> uh, something funny that you have this EU rating, right? So according to the EU rating, the 21 inch Michelin was supposed to be the most quiet one. But yeah, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. And as for, uh, for consumption, which is also important for us Tesla drivers, uh, the road claw had the lowest consumption and then uh, n number two was uh, Michelin 19 inch pretty good you know they, they were like neck on neck pretty much um, and then Nereus was like on the good third but you see that all the 19 inch uh, tires they were like they had good consumption and then um, the 21 inch were noisier as expected uh, so it seems to be about uh, yeah, 10 15 watt per kilometer or more uh, but uh, something else you should notice is that this EU rating is just all over the place, you know. Um, so it, it claims that the, the Road Claw has a C rating and then uh, the Michelin has B, okay. Um, and the Nereus has C. I mean, if I would rate them, I would say that the Road Claw and Nereus would be a B. I don't know how, how low A would be here in this case. But... Um, what is also confusing is that Achilles has an E rating, whereas the the 21 inch uh, uh, Michelin has a C rating. But it turns out, at least on my test, that Achilles did better in the test. So um, I don't know because you know these tests are are made in like in a lab. I don't know how. I think I heard that they they have some kind of like rolling lab or whatever you know on a like smooth surface i don't know how that is made but um, in the end uh the real world test with the actual car you know model s or whatever is what matters you know on, on like semi rough norwegian tarmac uh, whatever you get in the lab uh, it's just a lab test so um you you can't i mean i'm not saying that the lab test is incorrect i'm just saying that i got some other results so I don't know how to conclude with that uh, but um, we should also look at the price here because uh, um, the Nereus is the 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 most the, the cheapest one here um, pretty low price to buy uh, and then you know Royal Claw is second and then you see that the, these these Chinese tires they are uh, fairly cheap compared to to the Michelin tires the Michelin are very expensive um, I don't know why they are so pricey but um, you have to notice something else. There's something called tread wear. So I was <laughs> aware of that. Yeah, no pun intended. Uh, with my Model X, when I because um, tread wear is a number. It's like a number of uh, to indicate how how durable the, the tire is, right? And then in in with Millennium Falcon, my Model S before I used um, was again. It was the um, a Goodyear Eagle uh, uh, RS A2. And those had 420 toward thread wear, and they usually lasted about 30,000 kilometers. Uh, whereas suddenly, when I got Optimus Prime, you know, my Model X, I was using these uh, Michelin tires with only 220 thread wear, and I was like, I, I was so surprised that you know, after 10, 15,000 kilometers, uh, the tire w w was not like. It was not legal anymore. You know, it was like, worn out. So I was so like caught off guard. So I, I would, I, I would, I became more aware of the thread, thread wear, what it means. Uh, so uh, because the thing is, okay, so the price here is just for the tires, right? But if we add, uh, you know, you have to every time you want to change tires, you have to like uh, you have to go to the tire shop and they have to take off. The rubber from the from the rim, right? Separate that one and then put the new tire on the rim. They need the machine. You can't do that at home, but you can, you know, mount. You can uh, like change the wheel yourself. You know that is easy. Uh, but most people they just let the tire shop do that. So there is a cost involved every time you want to change the set of tires. Uh, so and by definition, tire is the rubber rim is the metal and then wheel is supposed to be you know the rubber and the metal together so um um and if we assume 400 th threadware will last for uh, 30,000 kilometers based on my own experience with tesla 
my there my s um you can assume that okay uh you you have to factor in that one that um f for instance if you if you look at uh you know the michelin tire you have to like uh, replace that more often and then the cost for replacing the tire is also higher so uh in this table here you see uh i can like added in that one and you see that the road claw is by far the cheapest uh, and there's like a factor so if you set that okay the road claw is the cheapest and then the other options are more expensive and uh, uh, those those chinese tires are pretty cheap and then michelin is just ridiculously expensive so uh, and of course these are new tires uh, you can buy them second hand on like fin or whatever uh, like i've i've done uh, but some of them are a little bit used and some of them are brand new but still you know um they are somewhat expensive so um uh, if you want to save money you should go for the chinese tires yeah if you drive a lot you know you should consider the chinese tires michelin almost get the you know like the impression that they are a little bit overpriced but of course some of these like the 20 the 19 inch they perform quite well when it comes to noise and, and consumption uh, so uh, 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 Chinese tire. I mean Chinese, you know, this the word Chinese made in China, you know Made it sound like it sounds like it is cheap and crap like well is it is it like that? Um, well, uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to judge anything. I'm half Chinese, you know, uh, so I'm open for testing stuff So um, I was actually quite surprised when I tested the Nereus tire this winter uh, you know, we did like this uh, tug of war, and uh, we saw that we saw that uh, those uh, those cheap Nereus uh, studless tires beat the the kind of worn out um, Hakabrita Eight tires, and well, um, of course those they don't, they're not worn out. They were like half worn out. We still had lots of treads. You know, we still had lots of uh, lots of studs left, but. Um, uh, you know, because those uh, Hakapolita tires are so expensive and they uh, they aren't that uh, common to, I mean, people don't sell them second hand, then I tend to wear them down quite a lot. So that means that, okay, towards the end of the lifetime, you know, they are actually pretty crap compared to fresh tires. So, um, uh, and I experienced, at least with the winter tires and the Nereus, but they, they had excellent traction in winter in snow and stuff of course uh when it came to some uh, some like uh, ice okay then it wasn't that good but i was used to you know studded tires studded tires are excellent in uh, on ice um and also uh, very quiet uh but all the the consumption on the ha on the nereus was slightly higher than the hakobrita r2 the hakobrita r2 has like one of the more one of the lowest consumption but that was okay uh studless winter tires and as for the road claw which i have tested so i only you know, i haven't tested mm, like most of these but i used the road claw 19 it's actually those tires that were on the test car here uh, i used them on my uh, tesla loaner model s loaner before uh, well when i was waiting for optimus prime to be fixed so i had some experience with those tires i drove them around you know doing nimber trips um and um, my impression is that those tires they they are they are quite good um uh, they're a little bit noisy ish okay but uh, really low consumption and they just stick to the to the ground you know? they stick to the road and also in wet condition where it's kind of critical they also perform well okay i haven't tested like i wasn't like tracking but you know my driving style i'm i don't drive like a grandma so i try to challenge the tires and they did well um so uh i think uh, you know the conclusion is that um uh the 19 inch michelin uh, tires they are the most like quiet one uh and also the most efficient but they are pricey and then the 19 inch road claw uh, they are the cheapest uh, and also the most efficient, but uh, a little bit noisy. Yeah, actually pretty noisy. Um, and then the 19-inch Nereus. Uh, no, wait, actually, the 19-inch, sorry, the 19-inch Rockla was actually not that noisy. It was the Nereus that was noisy, yeah. So Rockla is like a middle there. Uh, Nereus had the most, the most noise and also kind of high consumption for its size, so... Mm. Uh, and then, as for the 21 inch, uh, the 21 uh, inch Michelin was uh, the most expensive tire and also the the, the, the noisiest tire. 
uh, and then the 21 Achilles was surprisingly quiet and also had good uh, like um, uh, good economy you know, not too expensive to keep them running um, and uh, and in general I found out okay so uh, the, t the 21 inch they tend to have some about 15 watt hour per kilometer uh, more consumption that's about 24 watt hour per mile higher consumption than the, the 19 inch yeah and also I found out that uh, okay it seems like you know the EU rating could be misleading or I don't know I mean uh, I think you know that the EU rating is a lab test and uh, can you trust it fully because you know uh, they, they don't they they didn't specifically test that one for your car they just test it on a general basis so maybe there are other like uh, factors that you know causes my test to have different results but like I mentioned in the end what matters is, is what you will get in the Model S not what you will get in a, in a Volkswagen Golf or whatever you know you get so um, yeah, this was quite interesting. Uh, I finally found out uh, what you know, the difference between 19 and 21 inch was. And uh, I think if I have an opportunity and time, and if you guys are up for it, I can test some uh, 22 versus 20 inch on uh, Model X, because I also believe that there is a big difference there. Yeah. So um, I think that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so talk to you guys later.